So you want to force close all of the applications running in the background on your Nvidia Shield. Now, as you guys know, when you open up an application, uh, for example, the Google Play uh, Movies and TV, the application is now open. But when I press the home key, that application is still running in the background, consuming memory. Now, the great thing we can do on the Nvidia Shield is just double press the home button. And we can now see all these other applications that are previously opened that are still running in the background and consuming all that memory. Now, wouldn't it be great if I could just press a single button and close all of those applications with one click? Well, guess what, guys? Let me press that button now. Let me now double tap the home button. And all of those applications have now been closed. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also do this on your NVIDIA Shield and close off all your background applications with just a single click. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now the process to do this is actually really simple and it doesn't require any third party applications to do that. Now what we want to do is if you head over to your settings, scroll down and where it says remotes and accessories, let's click on that. And we can now customize the menu button or typically be the context key, which is the one with the three lines. So let me click on that. And we can see that we can set three separate features for that single button. So we have the short press, we have the hold, and we also have the double press. Now my, we can see if I do a single press, that takes me to the settings, where we are now. If I go back there again, now for the press and hold, and we can see we actually have quite a few options for that long press. So everything from muting the volume, to do a side by side of the AI upscaling. We can take a screenshot, but we can see one of the built in options is actually close all background apps. So let's select that for that one. Let's press the back button. And for the double press, let's just say we want to turn on AI upscaling or not. So let's click on that. Let's press the home key. And let's open up an application. So uh, let's open up uh, Nvidia games. And let's press the home button. So that's now running in the background. Let's open up YouTube. And press home button. And one more. Let's open up the Play Store. Okay, that's now all running in the background. And the way we can verify that is by double pressing the home button. So we can see we have one, two, three, four things running in the background. Press the home button. And let's say I now want to terminate all of those background applications with just a single click. So let me now hold the menu button for one second. So press and hold, let go. If I now double press the home button, all those applications have now been terminated. So it really is as easy as that. So, so not a long tutorial, no third party applications, just use the built-in feature and we can now close off all those background applications with a single click. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. And before you go, guys, let me just show you one other thing that I've been working on, which is how to get the mouse functionality on certain devices like the Chromecast with Google TV or the Dunlink box, because those devices, as you know, don't have any play button. So we cannot use the standard mouse toggle because again, these devices do not have a play button. But if I now jump over to my Chromecast, so here we are on my Chromecast. But watch what happens when I press this button here, press and hold. And I now have a fully working virtual mouse toggle that I can activate on my Chromecast or really any Android TV device without using any play button. So I can click on this application here, open it up and do all of that good stuff. So there are a couple of small niggly issues that need to be fixed on this before I can release it. So if you guys wanna see that video, then make sure you are subscribed Make sure you hit the bell notification and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.